Hey all, in this video, we're gonna walk through um, calculating the formula for a best fit line and graphing a best fit line for some given scatter plot data. And when we graph the best fit line, we're gonna graph it over the scatter plot. So here's my X and Y data, and I'll make a scatter plot with this data quickly. I know we already know how to make graphs in Plotly. So there's my data, and I can make a trace of it. It'll be a scatter plot. My x data is A, my y data is B. So there's my scatter plot. And so I'm going to fit a line. It's probably going to go like this right through, right? Okay. So we want to find um, the slope and the intercept of this data, or of the best fit line of this data. So we're going to use a Google Sheets function called Linest. Maybe it's Linest. I'm not exactly sure how to say it. It's kind of weird though. So the first argument it takes is the Y data. The second argument it takes is the X data. And now what we're going to do is we're going to type true and true. This is kind of confusing, but this is just gonna be our procedure. And it spits out this table, and it's got a mess of interesting statistics stuff, but these top four are the ones we're interested in. We're interested in the slope and the intercept, and we're interested in the uncertainty on those. We get some other interesting statistics information um, that we don't really need to deal with now, okay? So we know that a line, the formula for a line is y equals mx plus b, this is going to be our M. This is going to be our B. So we found our um, slope and its uncertainty, and we found the intercept and its uncertainty. Let's, we have to figure out how to get a graph of this line described by these two on this plot. So what we're going to do, we have X values, and we have the Y values that we recorded, but now we have a formula y equals mx plus b to find the y values on the line that fits it. So y fit will have as it equals m times x plus b. That's our intercept. Awesome. And it pops right up. That's for our first one. Now we know when we drag stuff down, formulas down, all the entries change. This doesn't really look like it makes sense, okay? Um, if we just go down one, we can see this one's taking our slope times our x plus b, but this one's taking our slope uncertainty times x plus the uncertainty on b. Now that's not what we want. Um, so the way we're gonna make this formula, we're gonna learn a new Excel trick, and that's using dollar signs. If we put a dollar sign, oops, if we put a dollar sign in front of both entries of, if we put dollar signs in front of the row and the column of the cells that we don't want to change, well then they won't change when we drag our formula. So I'm going to hit enter. If I drag it down now, when I look at these, I still have G2 and H2. This one I do, this one I do. Good. So this will be Y data for the fit. So if we copy it, we can come on back over to Plotly. And we have this scatter plot, this trace on here, and we can add a new trace. Um, this one we'll have as a line because it's our best fit line. And our X data is the same data, A. But our Y data, oops, paste, and our Y data will be C. Awesome. And now we see that we have our points of the scatter plot, and we have our best fit line going right through. So 
Um, this sheet is just like a workstation. You don't have to upload the whole sheet, but you definitely want to keep track track of it because you're gonna have to submit these numbers. Your slope and its uncertainty, your intercept and its uncertainty. You're also gonna have to upload a screenshot of this graph. All right, and you're gonna want to put um, labels on the axes. I'm just using dummy data that doesn't have units, so I didn't put any units or anything on the axes. But you all are fitting real data, so. You can label your axes, upload a picture of your plot, and submit the slopes and the slope and intercept and their uncertainties. That concludes this video.